Clip number six for 2024. This is a triple head uh, ultra male hypo pied female bred to our ultra male double head uh, pied hypo male. So let's go ahead and get her off of these eggs and see what we got. All right, we had, um, this girl had six eggs under her, all good. Uh, weight per egg average is 108 grams, one rollout, which is why that one is by itself. Um, and they were laid overnight and we didn't get to them till the morning. So they were very, very stuck together. So sometimes when they're really stuck together, we'll stick with the how they lay is how they stay and not put them in our normal holder. So that's what we're doing this time because we don't want a chance to pull them apart. Um, so we're going to leave them in here as they are and we'll get these in the incubator and we'll be back here in 55 days. All right, clutch number six. As a reminder, this is a triple head ultra male pied hypo bred to our visual ultra male double head hypo pied. So clearly the triple visual recessive is what we're looking for. Um, I can tell you we've already got some pippers and they're ultra males, so that's a good sign. Mm. Um, but half the clutch should already be ultra male. So, I love pippers. Um, <clears throat> if we get a visual pied ultra male, that would be amazing because it would be our first. Um, Oh, this one's going to be a real pain to cut the way they've done their thing. Um, and then, honestly, anything pied is a win because we can also guarantee that it is het for Ultramel because he's visual. Uh, and everything that's not visual recessive of any of the three genes will be 66% het. So, let's get started with our pippers here. That is an Ultramel. So it should be 66% uh, double head hypo pied. Next up, we already saw that this was an ultra male. Again, hoping to see some of those other recessives though. Really, ultra male pied would be fantastic. That looks to be another ultra male. Next up, wow. Well, half the clutch should be ultra males. I guess the first half I cut are gonna be the ones that are ultra male because pretty sure this one is as well. Yep, ultra male. Interesting pattern on that one. I'm gonna wait till they come out, but yeah, patterns. Very interesting on that one. All right. Last three, the non-pippers. Let's see what we got here. Again, really love to see an ultra male pied. That would be top tier. The odds are not in our favor, but I think we need, let's see, ultra male pied. Well, half the clutch should be ultra male and a quarter of the clutch should be pied. So that'd be one in eight should be an ultra male pied. And we only have Six eggs. That's a normal. All right. Two more eggs. Let's see what we got. We'll see the odds this year. Last year we... <clears throat> Sorry, I'm losing my voice a little bit. Uh, last year we smashed the odds. This year the odds have not been in our favor, which I guess is kind of evens out, right? You get some years where the odds are great, and then other years where the odds not so much. like another mm -hmm. normal interesting I'm not seeing any hypo stuff at all that were a pied I wish you got one and four for both of those and I don't see either one here we go this will be our triple recessive here it'll make mm -hmm. up for it watch <laughs> no Aww. Um. Though that is uh, ultra male hypo. I was going to say hypo. It's very yeah. light compared to the others. Yeah. But not a single pied, interestingly. Mm. So um, we know he is uh, head, pied. head pied because he's produced them before and we produced her. So we know she definitely is as well because she was a pied male bred to a hypo ultra male. So no pieds out of this one, though. Uh, we have, might have another one of these clutches later this year, though. So we'll see if we maybe hit it later this year. So... We'll go ahead and get these in the incubator and we'll be back here for post shed. All right, post shed for clutch number six. Uh, we already separated them into their tubs this time, so we're gonna go through it real quick. Over here on this side, far over, Holly. Boop, wrong. We have the uh, Ultramel Hypo. Can you see that? Yeah. Kind of in front of the light. Okay, I didn't know if you could. 
then we have, uh, which is 66% um, het pied. Um, this was again a triple het female pied hypo ultra male bred to a visual hype, a visual ultra male double het hypo pied. Um, so then we have three ultra males. Uh, all are 66% double head pied hypo. And then we have two normals. I think we messed up in the cutting video um, and said they were 66% head all three, but that's not right. Um, they are 100% head ultra male because the male is visual and 66% double head hypo and pied. So that is everything for this clutch. Holly, you got anything else? I do not. All right. Like, comment, subscribe, all the YouTube stuff. We'll see you all next week. Take care. Bye, everybody.